A paramedics program at Cox Health has tripled in size over the last eight years. Chris Bryant is in our newsroom with how the CHAPS program has developed and grown. Chris? Yeah, good afternoon, Steve. The Cox Health Advanced Practice Paramedics program started in 2016. Now, the goal of the program was to help those who have had five or more ER visits over the course of a year to kind of help reduce those visits to the ER. In addition to that, it helps to alleviate some of the wait times in the ER and as a cost reduction to those patients. The community paramedics program with Cox Health can see around 25 patients a week and the process is much like an old-time doctor making house calls. None of the paramedics on the CHAPS team work on an ambulance and while there are currently 10 medics on the team, Cox Health has nearly 30 paramedics who are certified as community paramedics for the hospital system. Medics make house calls and check vitals and provide checkups of patients in their home or at assisted living facilities over the course of 30 days. Now while mostly in the Greene County area, Cox Health recently expanded the program to areas outside of the county and being a hospital-based program the community paramedics have direct access to doctors and patient records within the Cox Health system. Paramedics in general are working at, they are thought of as an extension of the ER. Right. Um, our CHAPS paramedics um, would be considered an extension of the clinic or the specialist um, or the, you know, the primary care provider. Um, so those are, those are the actions that we're performing is more um, you know, it's in the post-acute or outside of home outpatient scenario. Now, the first time that a CHAPS paramedic meets with a patient, that appointment usually lasts between 45 minutes to two hours, and in that, they get a kind of full understanding of the patient's needs. After that, the average weekly appointment with a CHAPS paramedic runs about 30 minutes. Now, coming up today at 4, you'll hear from one of the original three members of this team and what that experience has been like for him. In the newsroom, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.